Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, as promised, in this video, this is the start of week 4 of our road to 200k. And uh, this time I decided to do things a little bit diff differently because I managed to get uh, some time off during the afternoon. And so, because of that, I decided to do a live trading session for you guys. So, uh, I haven't put any trades yet uh, so far today and because of that I will be uh, making the trades live in this video for you guys to see uh, how d do I manage to determine what are the most appropriate trades, uh, trades for me to do it and so yeah without further ado let's get into it so uh, as I mentioned before the primary strategy for me is for now to do basically whatever it's possible for us to make sure we get rid of the most volatile stocks that we currently have such as hymns and lift first and foremost because this lift put is already at zero it was bought at let's see for how much apparently yeah it was bought at 13 cents so it makes no sense to keep it at this point so let's just try to close the trade first and foremost at one cent all right so because we can realize most of this gain at this point and so there is no reason for us to keep it any longer and so as you can see the order was filled the the puts were bought back and so <clears throat> at this time uh the collateral was uh, released and so I'm not going to worry too much about filling up the file right now or the, the scoreboard as you can see right here I can do it later uh, but for me the priority is just for you to see how I determine what are the most appropriate trades for us and so let's start by the most problematic stock at the moment which is HIMS right here so uh, HIMS as you know is the most volatile one so let's look for some puts that we can potentially uh, sell so that if they are exercised will allow us to lower uh, our average average price so here as you can see the option option chain all right these are the put side the call side and let's see where uh, what is the most appropriate out of the money put that we can we can sell let's just look at this one for example this is a probability of profit nearly 79 percent right it will allow us to get 15 euros uh, 15 dollars for each put all right let's uh, see this this one is probably far too close to the to the current price so i'm not going to bother with this one but this one probably is our best chance but we'll see the other ones. This one is a probability of profit, meaning expiring worthless of almost 90%, but in return, of course, we only get $5 each out of them. Let's determine the approximate risk or probability adjusted, pro um, sorry, the risk adjusted, the probability adjusted profitability of this particular option that we put in that we are considering so this will give us in re, uh, a premium of 15 euros per option we have to put a collateral of 1550 dollars remember all of these quantities are multiplied by 100 because each option contract uh, has an underlying of 100 stocks right so we are going to adjust this by the probability as you can see here the probability in fact has now risen to 81 percent so let's use this that one again that one as well so 81 all right and now we are going to annualize this return all right so we have four days left as you can see so it's 365 divided by four this would give us a return assuming it expires worthless all right and we are adjusting the profit to the profit by the probability so this will give us a return of approximately 71.5 percent which is quite good all right so probably this is the one i will be going for 
uh, if instead we look for this one, uh, we can see that the probability of profit does not rise by so much that would just that would uh, offset the fact that this is as a much lower, uh, quite lower premium, right? So uh, it's probably not worth worth it to to buy, but uh, still to, to to sell rather. But we are still going to do the calculation. So this will be ten. All right, ten euros. So the collateral would be fifteen hundred. All right, the probability of profit would be about. 86 and so we'll do the same in this in, in, um, I will put um, so the probability here is the probability adjusted is probability adjusted uh, profitability is 52.3 percent which is also quite good I will put uh, the formula in the description below so that you guys can use it in your own uh, decisions all right so either these ones are quite good in the meantime this one is lowered but um, I would prefer I would prefer to try to get uh, the one which is most most probable to be exercised right because we have an approximate uh, approximate uh, strike price of 23 uh, 23 25 23.25 average cost of the shares that I currently have so you can see there are no calls being negotiated at this price so we would have to go further away in the maturity you see and even so we would not be able to get any uh, calls to negotiate to, uh, to sell by such price so as you can see we really need to get down this average cost of acquisition of the of the of the of the options. Oh yes, in this case, in this case of the stocks. So, uh, but even so, let's just see what happens in here. So I'm going to, in this case, this one uh, went down to 77 percent. So even though this gives us a little bit less return i'm going to go for the 15 all right uh let's see so i have 19000 of per, uh, uh buying power so if i choose to sell nine of them that would be probably too much because then i don't have enough buying power left for the other for other options uh, and so let's see yeah, probably we will go for this one. And uh, yeah, we'll try, to, of course, but we will try to sell not at 5, but we'll try to sell them at 10 or rather 11. Let's see if this works out. So, the order was submitted. We can wait a little bit. Uh, for it to to go actually because it was not at the, uh, immediately uh, filled up let's try to do it for 10 in this case for 10 was filled up all right so we received the 10 that we wanted so we received in total in total seven 70 euros and then we received which is also quite good um, a credit of 245 all right which is always nice so let's see uh, we still have these 17,000 of buying power. I forgot that because we bought back the puts from Lyft, uh, we have additional buying power. So this is also good. All right. So next up, let's see what we can do with our Lyft puts as well. Let's try to also sell some, some puts with on Lyft because these are, as I said, the most problematic ones. And we really need to get rid of this as soon as possible. Let's see this one. This one has a probability of 79%, which is also uh, very, uh, quite good. This is usually as a as a um, as a standard for me. Probability of profits must be at least 80%. So 79, yeah, it's close to that. This one goes even higher, of course, 93%. But the premium is way, way, way too low. 
And so let's see in terms of the profitability of this one. All right. So this would be $10. So the collateral to use would be 1100 All right. The probability is 79. And again, let's annualize uh, this profit. Let's put it this way, four days. All right, so this will give us a profitability of around 65.5%. Probability adjusted, adjusted for probability. All right, so this will be the one we are going to, to buy, or in this case, to sell, all right? So let's try to do like nine of them. All right. I think nine of them should be should be good. Let's see. And yeah, why not try to do it at 11? If for some reason the price rises by one cent, we'll be able to fill up this this order, which is always nice, but apparently it did not. And so I just prefer to yeah secure the 10 and let it go for now, all right? So as you can see, in this case, the, um, the commission was quite, quite high. I spent almost $10 in commissions on here, but yeah, uh, this is something that you cannot control, so it is what it is. So moving on, I still have 8.5. So yeah, for the time being, this is good. About the uh, the four and American Airlines, it would also be nice to lower their average price. And so, let's see what we can do. So, keep in mind that I still have. This is a very important number to keep in mind. The 8.4. All right, 8.4 that I still have left, because we may we need we cannot overshoot our buying power, otherwise we will automatically be using leverage and we, we don't want that, right? And so let's see. For the time being, this one, which is the closest one to the, to the, to the current stock price, this one has a far too low probability, so I would not go for that, all right? This one uh, as a premium, which is way, way, way too low. Um, and so apparently there are no uh, ideal uh, options to, to trade for four. And so let's see other options that we have in this case for American Airlines because uh, we can see that for four motor company, it's not that optimal a uh, trade at this point. In this case, this one right here, 76 probability of profit is also quite low and uh, yeah we would have to basically buy the stock at 10 given that our current average price is 13.72 uh, this is this is a let's uh, let's be honest so this is quite a good premium uh, because as you can see this is a quite high pro, uh, profitability even by adjusting by, um, even if we if we adjusted by the um, by the probability, right? So if we even if, if we do this, and so we have three sixty five divided by four. This is give us a profit sixty two point four percent, which is, I would say, pretty good. All right. Um, and so given that we still have some chance that uh, it's close to 80 and we really need also to bring down this average price, right? We will, in this case, um, yeah, basically uh, we are going to do this. And so, but of course the position will be rather small. Let's build up slowly and so and so let's see how this trade goes. In the meantime, we lost uh, one cent in the price, so let's try to do this for the nine as well, regardless. 
and see if it comes back up because it would be it would be very nice to keep it at uh, at nine cents per per each per each uh, stock so for the time being uh, this would also give us um, would take uh, around 5,000 out of our buying power so this is something that we need to keep in mind as well all right and so yeah for the time being I think that is all that we can do in terms of the puts of course because uh, I could potentially sell some puts on four but apparently there are not in, not trades which are good enough and so probably it's better for us to wait for later right because I don't want to do a bad trades for the sake of doing it and yeah let's keep it as it is in the meantime because we still have around uh, 3,500 of um, of buying power what I'm going to do is sell some more options on hymns because I really want to get rid of this as soon as possible and so let's see if, if, if it is possible for us to do another trade like this so if I sell this one all right so let's see what happens in the meantime the price went down but I really I really want to try to to get it back up for some reason let me just see yeah the price did not came down by that much after uh, since we put in the trade I'm going to try to do this and keep it waiting uh, until it fills up, if it fills up. But if it will not be possible, yeah, probably we'll have to, to lower the price. All right, so in terms of calls, because puts we are mostly done, all right? So calls on American Airlines are sold, calls on SLD as well, calls on Ford as well. We also have calls on HIMS. we still have to input calls on lift to to sell calls on lift let's see if we can do that if there is any trade which is feasible for us as you can see because i bought them at 14.5 there is no uh, options uh, available to sell at for uh, calls available to sell at 14.5 so let's try to see a two-week option and we have it but apparently it's not really that worthwhile because it's uh, we only receive one euro for it and so yeah basically it's not really it's not really worth it I assume this would be the case as well for uh, three weeks out yeah precisely as you can see so in this case I'm not willing to extend this uh, maturity longer we will not uh, sell any calls on lift stock because we are far too, too far away from the strike price and so let's keep it as it is for now and then later on if we see that the price rises and puts become and puts um, calls uh, become uh, more uh, uh, valuable and so the, sh the 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 one week call uh, with a strike of 14 and a half becomes available we'll then sell those because it's worthwhile even if he has a lower a lower premium very low premium as long as we can have the the possibility of breaking even within a very short period of time such as one week uh yeah that's exactly what we want and so i think all that it's left for us is to sell the the, the calls on this stock right here the pfizer stock because the stock is rising we assume that the put the the calls will be more valuable and so we keep in mind that we bought the stock at 29 so we're going to try to sell at 29 as well there's a reasonable chance like 27 percent that it will be exercised so this is positive so let's sell 
two calls on this. All right. Let's try to sell them at 20 and see what happens. Because it's always good to try to maximize the premiums that we have to receive. As you can see, as you can see uh, right here, the HIMS order was filled, right? We managed to sell the two puts, which is always nice, right? And so, as you can see right here, we still have 5.7, all right? So, HIMS puts were right here. Now we sold nine, all right? <clears throat> so we still have these ones to 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 sell as you can see we have uh, we uh, placed an order for 5 at 10 so this will be roughly 5000 uh, euros uh, dollars of collateral we still, we have 5.7 so we are good all right and so yeah the way it looks uh yeah we just have to wait until until they 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 are filled up if they are filled up because if they are if they are won't be filled up we will have to to try and sell at a slightly a slightly lower price i'm going to have to refresh the page because for some reason sometimes it takes longer to appear but in this case yeah it is solved all right and so basically that is it um we just have to to wait for now i'm a little bit concerned about the four because as you, as i mentioned before in a previous video this is getting a little bit closer to the strike of 11 which is against my <laughs> my desire because i wanted to sell uh, back at 13 but of course i took a gamble and to get some premium uh, i decided to take the risk and put the call at a lower strike price even though I'm running the risk of uh, having to incur in a loss here. Uh, this one is further away, so I'm not too that, that concerned. But with four, yeah, this is becoming a bit of a concern because it's, it's becoming rather close and there's still two weeks until aspiration. So, yeah, let's hope it does not hit this strike. But for the time being, let's just take the time. Let's see here. Um, let's just input our trades here. All right, so this is the 19th of August, All right? So it's all 19th of August here. So let's start by going ahead and close up this trade right here right so we bought back at one cent the lift puts at 269 right so at 269 we bought them at one cent and this trade was closed and was closed today. Right. All right. As you can see right here, yeah, it was a handsome return. All right. And uh, yeah, let's move on from here. These ones here, the hymns, both were at 10 cents. Uh, all of them all nine of them were 10 cents and i still have had two credits all right so uh this is 245 and 70 cents so this uh, as you can see oh in the meantime as you can uh, we just it just happened we filled up one of the pfizer calls all right so it's one more to go but for the time being it's minus 245 and seven this is 315 all right so we can just see the order the pfizer calls were filled which is also nice so let's put here 
minus 15. Managed to, to uh, this is my mistake. This is here. Delete this. This is a 10, right? These are nine. This is on hymns. And this is a cash covered put. The strike was 15. And these have a maturity of one week, right? So this is it. This trade is input, right? Now, the puts on lift, which are also nine of them. This is 844, so 944, 989. So the commission was 989, which is quite heavy. But still, this were uh, the commission. Yeah, this was also 10 cents, as you can see right here, right? So also nine of them. This is 10. This is lift. It's also cash covered put with the same maturity, also one week, all right? So let's just save this. And also next up, this is done. Now we need to input our calls on uh, Pfizer. I sold them for 20. The commission is 1.4, right? So 1.4, I sold them like this. Let's just see if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is correct. These are the calls on Pfizer, right? So here, right, the strike price is 29. These were two, all right, and this is the same maturity. And basically, that's it for now, right? Uh, we'll have to wait basically until these uh, puts are uh, filled up. Um, even though, even though uh, this is taking a little bit longer, uh, and I don't want to keep you waiting for this, let's just see uh, what is the option chain looks like. Because if that is the case, I don't want to keep you waiting. And so, yeah, this already went down to uh, seven cents, which is not that bad, but. Uh, I'm going to uh, lower this uh, this price down to eight cents and see what happens. But for the time being, uh, yeah, basically this is it for for you guys. Uh, let's just wait until this fills up, and then uh, I'll come back to you at the end of the week uh, to see how these trades have gone. And so. That's it for now. Feel free to leave your comments below, any questions uh, that you may have. Uh, also, drop a like and feel free to subscribe as well. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all on the next one.